Hello everyone. Let us see how to put a design painted on the stairs using vanishing point filter in Photoshop. So let us start. Here we have the image of stairs or steps and now we will put a design on these stairs using vanishing point filter and I have also selected this particular design and uh, now we will start. So I will take a new layer about this stairs layer and now we will just go to filter and we will select vanishing point and we will just zoom into the image inside the vanishing point filter and I will be starting at this particular stair so here we can see one icon with this icon we will be creating a grid plane so I will start at this point and here we can see a blue color line is appearing and we have to just click to create one more point so we need to just create the point in such a way that it is not too cross or too straight so something like this and we'll come till here and then we will just create one more point and then We'll just create one last point to complete the grid so we can see we can see a blue color grid being created now what we'll do is we'll just drag these points and we will adjust the grid properly see here the grid is appearing in red color it means we are not adjusting properly we need to make sure that the grid is always in blue color so we can drag these points till the end so something like this so here also we can drag the points and uh, we can just adjust these points right so once we have adjusted the grid plane now we'll be creating a perpendicular a perpendicular grid so that will start from this point so what we need to do is we have to simply hit C on the keyboard to create the plane so here we have the create plane tool so to activate the create plane tool we have to hit C on the keyboard and we simply have to hold control and create a perpendicular grid from this point just simply drag so we can see here a perpendicular grid is created right and now again we will create a horizontal grid from the same point so again we will hit C on the keyboard hold control and simply drag so if we are using Mac we need to hold command right and again we will simply hit C on the keyboard, hold control and create a one more grid plane and again we will hit C on the keyboard and hold control or command in Mac and simply create one more grid plane and we will do the same thing, we will keep repeating C control or command and just create a grid right so here we have created one last grid right so we can just uh, uh, create a grid till here right and now we will complete our vanishing point right we'll simply click ok so now I have created a grid plane on the stairs 
now we need to get the design so here is the design we will simply copy the design so to copy the design we simply have to use select all and copy so for select all we can use Ctrl A or Command A in Mac to select the entire image and uh, we will also copy the image we also need to copy the image so Ctrl C to copy or Command C to copy if we are using Mac so I have copied the image and now we will come back to our stairs image and uh, Make sure that you select the uh, empty layer and we will just open the filter and we will select vanishing point. We can also use the keyboard shortcut Alt Ctrl V in PC or Option Command V in Mac. Right. So now we will simply paste the design inside this vanishing point window. So I have pasted the image. So now we will just adjust the image. So we will activate the transform tool. Control T to activate the transform tool in PC or Command T to activate the transform tool in Mac. So the transform tool is activated and now we will just simply make it small. So let's keep it over here. So we can also slightly rotate it right so once we have adjusted the design so we have to drag this design inside this grid so simply drag the design so we can see here we can see how the design is appearing right so we have to properly adjust the design right so once we are done with this now we will simply click ok right so we have now got the design but this design is not looking interesting because it doesn't look like uh, a design is painted on these stairs so we have to make it look like it is a design that is painted on the stairs so what we are supposed to do is so here we will first select a blending mode so we'll select the multiply blending mode right still it's not looking like a design painted on the stairs so the next thing we are supposed to do is we will just double click on the right side of this design layer double click on it to open the layer styles so here we can see the layer style and uh, here we can see some options underlying layer and this layer so here these options are going to affect the design a lot so let's see how they are going to affect so here we can see the left slider and the right slider for this layer as well as for the underlying layer the left slider will control the shadows the right slider will control the highlights highlights are the bright areas so if we try to move the sliders for the underlying layer so the underlying layer is the stairs layer and the uh, and uh, here we see this layer and it indicates that it is the design layer so if we try to just move the sliders for the underlying layer so let's start with these shadows or the shadow slider so we can see how the dark areas of the stairs are affecting the design so it's completely swallowing the design the shadows are swallowing the design so something like this and if we try to move this particular right slider to the left see the highlights are swallowing the design so we can see here so instead of uh, changing the underlying layer sliders so we will try to change the this layers sliders so this layer means the design layer right so what we'll do is so here if we try to move the 
highlight slider for this layer to the left so we can see how it's just uh, removing the bright spots okay it's only keeping the darkest colors but what we'll do is we will try to move this shadow slider to, to the right so we can see here so we can see now it looks like a colorful design but uh, if we move the slider to the right side so see it's completely erasing the design so what we want is some smooth transition so what we need to do is we will just move the shadow slider to the left to certain distance and then we need to break this slider to break the slider we need to hold alt in pc or option in mac and then we will just break this slider so we can see here right and now we will just move these sliders so now we can see it looks like an interesting design right just we can move them and now we got some design on the stairs we can do a, a little bit uh, interesting things we can just take a duplicate if we think that the design is a little bit uh, uh, dim it's not too dark so we can just take a duplicate of this uh, design layer just we will hit Control J in uh, PC or Command J in Mac so see now the design is little bit bright and uh, we can reduce the opacity here so we don't want too much brightness so we'll just reduce the opacity and we will create a group we'll just select these two layers and we'll create a group Control G in PC or Command G in Mac right so we'll just rename the group design right and uh, now to make it more interesting we can also apply a rock texture to this particular design we want some roughness on the design so I just imported a rock image so what we'll do is we'll simply drag this image and just drop it on this image on this on this uh, stairs image we will just reduce the size right now what we'll do is we want the roughness that is inside the rocks to appear on the design so that uh, the design will look more realistic because the stairs are also having some roughness so now what we'll need to do is we'll make this rock texture into a clipping mask we'll simply clip this rock texture to the design so for that we need to simply hold alt in pc or option in mac and just click in between the rock texture layer and the design group we can see a down pointing arrow and once we see the down pointing arrow we we'll just simply click right so now we can see but this doesn't look realistic so what we need to do is we have to use a blending mode it will blend the colors properly so we will use overlay blend mode so we can see here so if we see the overlay we can see the roughness inside the rock texture appearing appearing on the design so we can do one more thing uh, we can reduce the effect if we think that the effect is too intense we'll just reduce the opacity so now the roughness is not too much too intense and if you want the roughness to be a little more intense we can just take a duplicate just we will hit Control J in PC or Command J in Mac and again we will make this rock texture into a clipping mask 
or we will clip the rock to the bottom layer. Just hold Alt in PC or Option in Mac and just click in between the layers. Right. And we can uh, then just uh, uh, slightly uh, reduce the opacity. Right. Now, the last thing we'll do is we will just uh, uh, apply mask to this design layer. So, simply select the design layer and at the bottom of the layers panel we have this mask icon just click on it and uh, in case we want to erase the design in some places we can do that so here we can see uh, the design is little bit uh, close to the corners okay so we can erase uh, this part of the design we want the design to be a little bit inside okay so just what we need to do is we'll just erase that part and make sure that the flow and opacity are 100 percent make sure that we have selected this mask thumbnail and we will just erase this much part something like this so something like this right now the design looks even on the left side and on the right side. Just we can erase some part. Right. So this is how we can paint a design on the stairs using vanishing point filter. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please do like, share, subscribe and if you have anything to say do comment. See you again.